gonna go with the Indiana Birch, Birdman. <laughs> I mean, it's all good. New kill leader. They're getting cocky. They're getting sloppy. I'm with that. I'm definitely with that. Peacekeeper here. Rings nearby. One minute till close. Let's go this way. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, you, my friend, are very welcome. Don't be afraid to look at your map. We're spread out a bit. 45 seconds. Ring's not too far. I'm okay with that. Ring ain't far. Half contact. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. I don't know if he's gonna pay for gas or not, but I wasn't gonna ask him to pay for gas. <laughs> I'd have picked him up off a of GP. <laughs> him ain't cold on. Listen to me. I was already three quarters the way there that morning anyway. Bam to the whistle. Sending out a decoy. Yeah, alright, I already started going heading up to Skull Piercer. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen again though, be honest with you, man. I don't think it's gonna never be another one of those things. Attention. Care package incoming. Y'all learned this. Just watch your back. No man, you guys helped immensely. You know, we're, look, we we we've already passed the one year anniversary, the two year anniversary of our of our of our meetup and the one year anniversary of uh I'm about to say the stream can't hear none of this shit. <laughs> stream can't hear none of this shit. No, oh, I'm streaming. They can't hear none of that neither. You'd have to have your mic in in order for them to hear this, or you'd have to join the party, but I really don't give a fuck if they hear this or not. They hear game audio, but they're used to that with your streams. So they ain't tripping. Yeah, I know, that's why it don't matter. Yeah, we're it up. They still ain't gonna have no star cast. Who's got two thumbs and a ball key? They this still guy. ain't doing no star cast. How about this way? Yeah, I think AEW I think AEW tired of star cast and them boys are trying to do all they shit. Roger. Making contact here. Ring ain't far. Half a contact. Using the decoy escape. Yeah, right. That ain't gonna never happen. That ain't gonna never happen. You gonna walk straight up to the front, stay next to the table, act like security. Taking fire. A bad one over there. Listen, I gotta stand and rule, man. Anybody who got Clever Dot t shirts, free and welcome to where I'm at. That's some motherfucking tabs right there. Particular wrestler, we ain't gonna mention on this stream. Recovery time, let's do it. What's going on? I think yeah, I don't I'm gonna kill him. Nah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he's at, but I know he had the Chicago Bulls, and I think I'm about to free up the Chicago yep, Bulls.
Yeah, next time we got to actually plan this shit. You know what I'm talking about? Because <laughs> we ain't planned it that first time. I promise you, I ain't planned it the second time. Well, there is no planning things with me. Nah, you, you... Listen, listen, listen. This is not an indictment on you. What you need to understand is that... Hey, it was it was hard to find our way to that spot uh where them uh where we saw the tesser. Yep. They just did some the other day too. Did you peep that? Yeah, you better hop over. Damn. Well, at least you can get away. Yeah, so, um, I seen that they did, uh, one match, and then they're gonna do something else with, um, the winner of that was gonna take on Tillman Jr. for the championship. Oh, oh, you need to get some gun. Yeah, I just heard MLW's about to resume tapings in an undisclosed location. I don't think they said it's on the East Coast. I think I know where it's going to be at. Flashing over here is this light up, just roll up, light up. It's flashing lights. What are you playing though? <laughs> Did you watch Being Elite? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shit had me dying. Yep. I can't believe that motherfucking cookie, man. I thought that's where he was from or something like that or based out of yeah he doing it right <laughs> who? Shavo? Show? ready to go yep prepared and ready I think he's married to her, two belts. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're doing more than banging two belts. They exchange vows. It's a solemn vow. It's a unity between two people. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I want two belts. How did you feel about this area? I heard that. Now, come on. Now. Dropping in, hang on. Day. I mean, the Tuesday, alright. It's a Tuesday. <sighs> Goodness, too well. Let's have some class.
think I just seen somebody drop on the other side of that. Yeah, on the other side of that. Nah, she don't. She probably making all that good old fine Mexican food. Um, Shaw Guerrero, Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero's daughter. Yeah, I'm talking about some real Mexican. Oh shit. I don't know. They got cheap ass flights. I'll probably get a flight for twenty seven dollars to get to Chicago right now, man. Contact with Call him if you spot him. Hey, I still wanna blow up doll. She just gotta be new or not. You can use the third. Smoke it. You'll be alright. I gotcha. Got a squad mate. Come on, stay I'm watching new play Apex. Oh, he got it. Oh, oh, he floats up or something? Oh, now he dead. Yeah, they can't hear us up in the stream. Um, let me see something. I don't really need to see nothing. Hey, Mark, where you at? I don't know. We ain't even downloaded it. I got it on the thing, though. You want to? Let's reposition here. I'm used to not. I don't carry a weapon in real life, so I don't need one in a game. If they give me the ability to attack without a weapon, I'm going to do that. Melee. I honestly would rather kill somebody with a melee. It's more intimate. Yeah, you be saying that too, Bus, but I don't be seeing you trapping nobody. You gotta get, make a bigger trap. I be feeling like I be trapping people up in these games too, man. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of get a read at a little area or something like that. And then, you know what I'm saying? And when they go to a certain spot, I make sure I get their ass and shit. Scope. I wish they had fucking minds in these games. Any of them shits. Dropping the pain. Head down. Airstrike danger close. Yeah. Yeah, they got some of that shit in Fortnite. Kids with spikes and all that shit. But man, I don't know, man. Fortnite ain't. It ain't. It ain't got it. Yeah, it's like too kitty. Like I'd rather like on some real serious shit. I'd rather play Lego anything than play Fortnite. And that's 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 actually going kitty. It's actually it's actual shit. Just Fortnite's supposed to be for like older kids than Lego, and Lego way better than Fortnite. All the Lego games is better than Fortnite. I guess. Maybe they last <coughs> season or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. He was on early as fuck in the morning. I wear it up. 
did it right. Yep, I, th I agree, man. Kevin Nash, you know. Kevin Nash was, um, you know, OG, man. He respected more than that. Especially Let's go this in way. Age. That old age he's in, man. King said he's gonna pay for this. Yeah, that was some Edward something. Man, we need to find that guy. We need to out him. Publicly on Twitter. Yeah. I know it, right? At least we got a name. So the question is where's Chef? We supposed to be doing court tonight, yeah. We doing court tonight. Everybody. We running everybody's cases tonight. Fuck that shit. I ain't waiting on nobody no more. Trying to think, man. Who who cases we is we calling out here tonight, man? We got blank. He told Hardy to 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 screenshot Saint and antagonize Saint and work Saint, which led to Hardy screenshotting Saint, which is technically snitching on a member of the Bullet Club. To the Bullet Club. So I don't know what the fuck Hardy think he doing. Taking all these screenshots, putting them on Twitter and shit. Like he embarrassing niggas. He making himself look worse. So Hardy going to court for snitching on Saint. Blank going to court for being his accomplice. Technically, Blank going to court for Rico. He orchestrated. He, he going to court for Kingpin charges. <laughs> Oh man, we about to make a date out of this shit. We about to make a date out of this shit, yo. Alright, hell no, man. Alright, I'm lying, man. We need to do court on Thursday, man. Because you talking about Impact. I know everybody gonna wanna watch that shit. Fucking lying. Dynamite tomorrow, everybody gonna wanna watch that shit. Ain't nobody got shit to watch on Thursday. Wait, NXT UK come back Thursday. That's true. And I am planning on doing it next to you, okay? Um, that's what I really think, though. Alright. We're rescheduling all court till Friday. I don't know, that seemed like worse. <laughs> that don't mean anybody gonna be able to be there on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, even in a pandemic. That's still true. I don't know when the fuck we're doing court, bro. I told Blank we're doing court tonight. But we got to take Colo, Tolos, Hardy, Blank, Saint. Um, um, I think that's it. Ring ain't far. What? I'm, I'm already on that song. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not on that song. Loose on that song. I'm on that song? No, I'm not. Do it, uh, Ring ain't oh, is that Trapanese? No, I'm on Airwalker, man. This is DoorDash. I'm on the other song, man. The other two. No, this is Trapanese. This is Trapanese. I'm already on this two boats. Luke, join the party. The when you can. <laughs> this is that same game, like. Been like forever. Damn, it's a good thing you went through that shit. I hope they not the one getting shot. Turn around and look at that shit. Matter of fact, throw your bomb thing down. Are they about to come through that door? Oh, they didn't come through. 
Oh, I am on it. Yeah, I'm trying to do something with it. Two bucks, you got the radio station. Sneak it in the rotation. How much is it going to cost, two bucks? I appreciate that. Now, this one right here hidden, though. I ain't going to stop. I think I did put these, you know. I don't think I think I did put these on the playlist, but I don't, I don't, I don't they're still hidden. Cause they don't come up on my page. Well, shit, man, you should have sent them that picture with the two of us, man. I know he's out there looking sexy. Yo, that Power Rangers game is like two gigs. That Power Rangers game, the whole game is only two gigs. It, 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 for a fighting game, it do the same thing every other fight. My, Mortal Kombat is like 70 gigs, and you could do the same things in Mortal Kombat that you could do in Power Rangers. No, it barely looks better. Yep. Plus, Power Rangers was like $3. Mortal Kombat was like $65. I would rather play Power Rangers all day. Plus, Tommy the Green Ranger cooler than everybody in Mortal Kombat. In my personal opinion. I would put him up against the most popular and cooler. And my guy is Scorpion. I love Scorpion, but I still think Green Ranger is cool. Let's go Scorpion. find them all. This would be a great battle, though. Tommy fighting the Green Ranger. I mean, Tommy fighting the Power Rangers going to Mortal Kombat fighting all the ninjas would be fire. Damn, Power Rangers Mortal Kombat crossover, dog. Get on it, Luke. Lord Zed, Shao Kahn. Go to Outworld, team up with all them obscure ass, convoluted ass bad guys in Mortal Kombat. Got a good feeling about this area. I feel most alive when rep. We should be able to search right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I am walking how I talk it. I am walking. I am talking with a pair on me. There's the size of an ostrich. Fuck. Alright, I think they can hear us now. Alright, we just got the deets. From our undercover bullet club agents. And they said that we are still number one. On all the Twitch. Everyone's still copying their all our shit. All our shit. Yep. I believe it too. Said that the Edwards of the world are still trying to bury us. Yep. We, don't, we ain't allowing, there's a new mandate in the Bullet Club. Not only has court been moved to Thursday. What's today, Tuesday? Has court been moved to Thursday? Yeah. There are no Edwards allowed in the Bullet Club. I just spotted somebody. I ain't got no weapons. Oh shit, here go weapon. Killed them all. You and me now. Pony up. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Boy jumping. New kill leader. Where 
Alright, so he disconnected. Both these bitches disconnected. Well, fuck this. Fuck that. Why would I even go over there and engage them two dudes that just killed my dudes? If they going to... Oh! Well, that was a fail. Them niggas just got killed, and while I was going over there to go get their ass and kill the dudes who killed them, they disconnected, man. That's one thing I don't like about this game. It has too much open areas. There's not many places where you can like set up a trap. Forty-five. And the grass needs to be taller. If you're gonna walk in grass, you know you should be able to have you know some height ability. Slip back. I need to get back in the circle though. Where's the jump tower? At? I'm gonna go right back past them two dudes. Got ten. Things close. There go jump tower. Now the ring's closing. Close. Which remind me, thank you for playing this game, Club. I was gonna check out uh, the multiple player on the new Call of Duty game. The oh, maps. Because I, yeah, cause I, heard, I heard they're doing that shit in Vietnam. And well, shit, I love jungle then shit. Then going back out of the circle. Oh, man. Why oh, they going to the jump tower right there? And we was going further into the circle, but I handed you the controller. You went to the last tower we just left. Oh, uh, technically I did, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, if you turn that way, there's another jump tower. That's the one we just came from. I'm trying to go further in the circle. Another jump tower. Just don't land in the lava. Teammate's dead. For you it is, yeah. But at least you got some guns. They got some shots down there. Shotgun too. Yeah. Give me a sec. I'm charging shoes. Up in the chimney. This nigga's all up in there. Last man standing though. I heard Jennifer Lopez about the, the Mets. Her and A Rod. By the Mets. 
Her and A-Rod. That's bugged out, you guys. Mean. They got a new mode? Armed and dangerous. Oh, isn't that that thing where you give you like a shotty and a sniper? Hey, that's a, that sounds tight right there. Are you about to jump on? No, I mean, the other man can give you a fucking sniper rifle. Right? Well, I might consider that re download this thing. Yeah, I ain't gonna That's my favorite joint is when they get. Yeah, I think that's called snipers and shooters. I don't know what Armed and Dangerous is. We're gonna find out, though. We're doing it right now. Jinx. Pre order. What I pre order? I got enough to buy everybody. Twice. You Man, must play this game a lot. <laughs> We've been playing this game since it came out. Yep. I could tell you how many games the Apex have been played on this console, but I wouldn't want to embarrass y'all with our <laughs> interstellar stats. Interstellar stats. Yep. Nah. Nah, that's kind of heavy. Lasagna. Lasagna. Nah, niggas ain't off of that, man. Niggas is trying to get the lasagna stromboli or lasagna calzone or some shit like that. Yeah, I don't think I never had. Or maybe I did. It's been so long. Can't remember. I can't remember what these shits look like no more. Stromboli and calzone. Ah, oh, I, I know you from where you microwave, right? Nah. I mean, like fresh out of the Italian spot. I was about to say you better get the real shit, cause it's yeah, not gonna I'm taste the same. About. Yeah, I'm talking about a real one, man. A real one. I need an Italian to make it though. <laughs> I can't remember though which one it is, but man, you know, man, man, me, man, you know all that red sauce, man. Come on now. Like all of that shit, man. Break a leg. Spaghetti straps. <laughs> Mine are made of steel. Pop the smoke, oh, make them hurt. Yeah, awesome sauce, mom. <laughs> What Vince said about Twitch streamers and shit, right? Yeah, that they're not supposed to do with the fucking WWE you don't company fire or them, something. <laughs> That's some stupid shit, dude. All the Twitch streamers that wrestle, man. If they don't shut their Twitch down in 30 days. <coughs> yeah. 
You know Paige ain't gonna be one of those people who's gonna shut it down. And Brody Lee said the same shit to uh to Evil Uno. He ain't tell him he got 30 days though. Evil Uno gotta shut his shit down now. <laughs> yeah. Brody Lee don't got nothing to do with Vince. He run the dark road. He's yeah, he's pretending to be Vince. No, he's not. Brody Lee is his own person. He's even worse than Vince. Because he runs a dark order. This man just runs a WWE. Yep. I ain't never seen Vince McMahon kill nobody. Dark order killed somebody last night. Run everybody. And then gloated about it. You saw that shit, two belts? Mm -hmm. That's good. Cool and everything. Right before the dance contest. I don't believe how fucking over they are. I do. They're funny as hell. Yeah, but you really never would expect that shit coming special from Portugal. <laughs> I, I knew he could play almost anything after I seen him do something, but at the end of the day, though, man, this shit is great. Great. It is. Great. Yeah. And how you like those Super Smash Brothers now, Two Belts? I always liked them, man. Exactly, man. He's the first person who told me about them boys. Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. The thing is, now AEW has way too many fucking heels. And not enough fucking faces. That's the only thing I don't like about this shit. I don't, I know don't like that AEW doesn't have a true face. No. Because even fucking Moxley ain't a true face. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 I mean like in a, in a sense. No, it's got a lot of good stuff. It's it's not about a king. They don't have a baby face. Like At they don't all. have a single baby face. Nope. <laughs> and the guys that they had playing baby faces were the elite, but those aren't baby faces because they're like. You can't think of the show like WWE, bro. It's not. It's not thinking about it like WWE. I'm thinking about the show like who Any can the show? heels beat up. That the fans are gonna be like, oh, oh, Orange Cassidy, Orange Cassidy, he's their baby face. New kill leader. Yeah, that's it. But, but ain't a very credible baby face. That's the thing. <laughs> he, 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 it's, it's 2020, so we have to accept that the baby face isn't gonna smile or do any particular thing with enthusiasm at all, and I'm cool with that because I'm in on Orange Cassidy. <laughs> But in the terms of the way that show is structured, he's the closest thing they got to a baby face. Yeah, but in that same logic, you want him to face Brody Lee or Lance Archer, because since he is the baby face. Yeah, and obviously I would want it to be in a big program. And with the limitations that Orange Cassidy is putting on himself, I don't know how invested I'd be in on these programs, given what I've seen thus far. But I'm going to be invested in them regardless because it's Orange Cassidy. So, like, everything you do, I'm going to watch regardless. But when I say a baby face, I mean, like, like Orange Cassidy... Mm -hmm. But I'm talking more along the lines of uh, Jungle Boy. Yeah, he's not that guy. But they're, not, but they're not pushing him that way. Yeah, and he's not re ready for a push of that nature, given what I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. He's great in the ring, but as far as all the other things you need to do to be the baby face, oh okay. damn. And if you watch that Moxley match between MJF, MJF kind of looked more of a baby face. <laughs> MJF match, could play that role. That's why they, uh, you know, I feel like they're they're smart for for choosing MJF to play the. Reloading. <laughs> 
Saying, I don't even know why the hell they turned the Bucks heels because they are, they're shitty heels. They're really, really shit. They don't know how to be a heel. I disagree, man. I disagree. I think this is all necessary. Um, um, I think it's needed. Um, I think it's the best thing for everyone. Oh no, to me it's kind of, yeah, it was a weak ass heel turn because they kicked the interview and then they got fined 5,000 each. Huh? Yeah, they super kicked them. But this is a slow burn turn, you know what I'm saying? This has been happening for a while now. You know what they should, that was a shitty ass, that was a shitty heel turn, right first of all. If you go around there, I could have done a lot more heelish shit than oh, kicking in with you. Never mind, there you go right there though. And, and, and he didn't even sell it for being fuck. super kicked. Because if you know that shit down, man, that shit, doing? he still has the mic in his hand as he said. If you get super kicked, you're going to drop that mic. I'm sorry. I'm not. You got to start shooting off the head, bro. Because that shit, you walking slow like that. Like, I'd rather just go up on the wall and gun them fucking down. Like. Like I said, that was a shitty ass thing. Like I said, they could have done something more heelish. And if they did, and if they did it that way, you know where they fucked up on? Where they said they had to pay the five thousand dollar fine each. They should have filmed each other paying that five thousand dollar five thousand dollar fine to themselves. Like here, Matt Jackson, here's your five thousand dollars. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. That'd have been healish. That'd have been way more healish. See? That, yeah. that would have sold them. That would have sold them to me. That shit they did was, was smug. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Call me Oscar Mike. Because I got you, lady. But you know, if he's supposed to be Big Money Matt Jackson, and Slick Nick Jackson, like I called him. So like I said, they don't know how to sell shit. I would have sold the shit out of that. <laughs> You're so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe man is keeping up come up like that. But like if you just stayed up here, I don't think nobody would have knew you was up there, bro. Yeah, I, they only I right for that too, but I tell you, I give you that all day, man. Uh, but you know, at least they did it. I did that on the TV show personally, but let's see. Uh huh. Man. Let's see. Um, personally, I think that uh, that um, that. That they're doing a really good job, man, with the show, because it's obviously the most interesting show, I think, among fans, week to week. I like Impact a lot as well, though. Impact's supposed to be coming on tonight. And um, I'm really curious, because now they ended the 
Russell House. So all those people are back on the impact back, show. Back, I know. <laughs> and I'm particularly interested in that um, as it concerns uh, the women's championship, Deanna Perrazzo, and women like Rosemary and Taya, and uh, even Alicia Evans, and Kylie Ray. Yeah, but if you notice, they pushed Jessica Havoc and her partner way down that card. Yeah, and I know they're tag teaming, and so they're out there trying to get that tag team rub. But uh, I'd love to see the two of them um, fighting in a, in a little bit. I, really, I want to see uh, Jessica Havoc fighting for the Women's Championship. That's really mm -hmm. I want to see Jessica Havoc be the Women's Champion for a while again. Um, I don't really want her to take it off of Deanna Peraza, though. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Deanna's great. And, uh, and because they fucking made uh, Kylie Ray versus fucking Tessa Blanchard here in Chicago, Warrior Wrestling, something tells me Tessa ain't far behind from you know, rejoining the TNA lineup. Man, everything I'm seeing is that Tessa Blanchard is been... Technically, I was told Tessa Blanchard was in the WWE like two months ago and shit, but um, I think everybody's going to realize that in about another month. Yeah, that's the best way to put that. Yeah, either she's going to go TNA back again or, well, I mean Impact, or she could wind up for AEW. According to our sources, she's been in WWE for, for at least two months now. <laughs> yeah. Then WWE don't know how to flaunt it, cause I be flaunting living shit out there. <laughs> no, WWE knows as soon as they do that, I'm gonna say that racist. <laughs> Tap, rack, and clear. I'm ready. I make this look good. Hold on a second. What the hell are you watching, Miss oh, Bills? <laughs> I love you, and I want. What kind of Crap, yes, shit is I'll break your heart and then I'll break everything else. She let you watch all that wrestling. I'm the jump master. Ready up. She does. I <laughs> watch way too much of it, too. She let you play hey, WWE 2K20. Maybe we don't. I'm fine with whatever. <laughs> She, she knows how much I spent on that thing. <laughs> I'm still pissed off for spending, and I cannot even trade that shit in. I bet even if I went to get a different game, I couldn't trade it in for nothing. <laughs> so Do I have to pay them to take this goddamn game away from mine? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, man. I'm running it for two days. And even I overpaid for it. Should have told him that the game didn't work. And it clearly didn't. But I still need to call him and tell him that. I didn't think of that. Shit, I just went to Redbox. Had it for two days. See, I mean, we got a red box, but uh, everybody goes to that route, so I need to get the one in the red box up here. Tell you the truth. Probably for about 25 minutes. Red box up here. I oh, know, but I can't get video games off of anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, I could have rented 2K20 and see if it was. And they should let you goddamn run every goddamn game and shit. On the they console. Should. Like, you shouldn't even have to go to the, to the kiosk. You should be able to do that shit on your console. PlayStation should let you rent everything. That's why I thought that, uh, fucking, uh, I can hold this shit that's on PlayStation. Where you can play the games. Uh, hold on. PlayStation now? But, yeah, I thought that was what the PlayStation now was. 
I like PlayStation now though, man. At least now you got a uh, 2K20, 2K19 again. True. Look at this round trip flight, 3378. Where? Let me find out, man. I'm about to just go somewhere real quick, man. I'm about sick of this shit. Nice. Why are you rolling with Doja Cat on this beef? I go, oh wait, Philadelphia to Miami, thirty-eight dollars. Miami. Philadelphia to Miami. So we get to Philly, we can get to Miami for thirty-eight bucks. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I buy a ticket for Nacho. Shit, we just talked to Chef extensively yesterday how much it costs to get Chef to, to Philadelphia. We could take Chef on an all expense paid, paid trip to Miami. Round trip. October 12th <laughs> to October 15th. But what the fuck's in Miami? Starcast. <laughs> Chef be out there hard as hell looking for Starcast. I heard it was at this Hyatt Regency. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We are not accepting any. The walk-ins. <laughs> thought there was a, com a convention here. I'm sorry, sir. You've been ill-informed. We haven't had a convention here since the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> okay, club. Yep. Still interested in these flights? Hell no. I was gonna see if you can get like a cheap flight to Orlando, cause that means you can get cheap fucking Universal tickets. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a cheap flight to Orlando. Cause if you buy one ticket for Orlando, the second day's free. So first day you can like pretend that you don't even know it. I'm here, not at Disney World, but I'm at Universal. <laughs> yep, I'm in a bubble. Clubble. <laughs> Reporting live from the clubble. And then the second day you can pretend to like look for Impact since Impact moved to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, I got one that's a hundred hundred and eighty one dollars. Got two stops. I go to Orlando. I think this is Orlando. Ultimate dates. Why does it got these dates anyway? This is one day. What the fuck do they mean? Oh, this is one way, one day. No, this is round trip, one day. All right, these motherfuckers bug. Who the hell's flying one way, one day? I have no idea. Cause by the time you land there, you gotta get back on the fucking flight. Hell yeah, you right. First thing to lie. Oh, I'm in the <laughs> But that's what I would do if I had the money. Sure, I would fucking make a. Because since Universal running so special deals, my ass would be camping out in Universal Studios. <laughs> Universal <laughs> to walk around Studios. With the, <laughs> with the studios. With the studios. To walk around with the mil min uh, whatever the minions. Bah, 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 man. <laughs> I'm not fucking with no minions, two belts. What's wrong with you, man? Walk up to Scooby Doo and say, You wanna go high? I got that green check in, Scooby. Come on. <laughs> just imagine all the fucking content you can get. I'm just pitching some stupid ass retarded shit. <laughs> um, I think I'm on a flight to Orlando. $200 round trip. There you go, see? Yep. Shit. It's gonna cost way Come more on. than I have to stay out there, though, so I ain't doing <laughs> Cause we ain't got no money! Same thing. <laughs> Man, fuck money. I'm already rich. What do I need money for? 
I'm rich in fi uh, friendship, everything else I'm dog at <laughs> Yep. Plus, if I could go anywhere in the world, where would I go? Um, they let you out of the country yet? Yeah, if, you, if they did let you out of the country, where would you go? Um, to the last kingdom of Scotland! <laughs> My ass is going to Amsterdam. <laughs> and I'm going to the red light. <laughs> Too bad you're trying to be a thot. <laughs> Man, that shit expensive as hell. Where? You should go to the Bahamas. Fuck yeah, it's always been expensive, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get these cheap COVID flight rates. I figured the the risk is greater the further you're going, so the price should be cheaper. It should be like fifteen dollars to go outside the country. Right now. Nobody to Wait, how much is it to go to the Bahamas? That's round trip. That's round trip. That's only one way. That's round trip. That's normal. That's only one way. Do they still got courier gigs or they don't do that shit no more? Um, in the Bahamas? No, anywhere. Like, you know, you, you look up the fucking air. The airlines and and they and they usually post on like couriers like you know drop off package like in UK and then oh I have no idea Speaking it's a free UK, flight let they, me see how much it costs to get to cause that's Scotland. a free flight a free one way flight <laughs> I used to do that shit as a child they don't sound like they do they do that shit. <laughs> you just keep on going until you get the flight that, that takes you back home. Man, this is going to go to Scotland. Hey, got our squad mate's banner. Damn, Scottsdale bus station. That's not where we're trying to go. Perth, the United Kingdom. Is that Scotland? Scott Railway. Fuck it. That's got something. Let's see how much it costs. How much is it? Fucking too much. That's a lot of do. Oops. I bet they can't find no flights. It's mostly because I'm going from an airport to a train station. It's the Scott Railway. So I think we've deduced that Philadelphia might be thirty eight dollars mm -hmm. Unless you take in the fucking Greyhound. <laughs> then it's yeah. cheaper. And we'll take much longer. Let's explore the enemy over there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm about to go to Hawaii. It's fucking hot. I'm just telling you, it's fucking hot, hot. It's almost winter time, two belts. I'm not worried about the heat. I'm worried about the volcanoes. Depending on what island you're on. <laughs> I'm trying not to die from the volcanoes. Alright, how much is it to leave this country? And go to the only part of the country that's not a part of the country. Hawaii. Damn, it costs more to go to Hawaii it's than it do to go to the what's the names? Than it do to go to wait, hold on man. How much is it to go to the Philippines? Why the what? Philippines? Because it sounds yeah. good. 
Yep. Who wouldn't want to go to the you. Philippines? To take you to Little Philippines in Chicago. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the Little Philippines. The Philippines was in the Bible. First Philippians. <laughs> first Filipinos. All right. They ain't got no place to the Philippines. Yeah, I think Taki out there. What about Tonga? Yep, we're gonna go to the Isle of Tonga. Wait, wait what? <laughs> what? No, I'm gonna go down there and achieve my destiny. Once again. Yep, all airports. Let's do it. We're going to Tonga now. Yep, now that guerrilla tactics theme song will repeat the whole way there whole flight. I'm gonna get him 16,000 plays, 16 million miles in the sky. Alright, hold on, they ain't got no information on this one particular place. So I'll no way we're gonna end this, review, this week's round of how much is it? Let's go to Japan and both become samurai warriors. Let's go to Japan and become young boys, two belts, me and you. Become a new tag team called the the F H O F, the Future Hall of Famous. Nope. Mr. Two Rings. Yeah, because you got two rings now and two belts. Look at that. Look at God. But they do actually have samurai classes up in fucking Japan. <laughs> Two belts. I don't want to become a samurai, right? I'll you be a samurai and I'll be a young boy, <laughs> or a young lion. Yeah, a young lion, because young boy is a dated term. Forty-five seconds. Ring ain't far. So you gonna clean up the mats and fucking hose down the fucking. I'm gonna get slapped by Minoru Suzuki after every match, but at least Lance Archer isn't there to spit on me. <laughs> yeah. Portal placed. I think the same way that we fired uh, all the superstars who had allegations, like Jack uh -huh. Gallagher and Marty Skrull and the Velveteen Dream. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have no choice but to make some, some drastic changes in the fight club, so. Let me get some getting fired. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you, you're eligible to get fired for this one, but so far, uh, I've been handed a note by, by a mysterious woman. Cause whoever you fire, and they're gonna tell you, why don't you fire Mr. Two Belts? He's already over here. <laughs> Shit, you here with us? We appreciate it. And anybody who tried to come for Mr. Two Belts gonna have had to have bought me some dinner. Like, why? <laughs> and it had to be like some Red Robin. Oh. I ain't never been to Red Robin. Thank you, baby. Thank you. What kind of cookies do Miss Bell's know how to eat? Let me stay out of this. <laughs> Let me stay out of this. I'm just gonna go get my kind of recipe. Cookie. Nope, I don't need it. I'm just gonna get my recipe and bake my motherfucking cookies. <laughs> he says he's gonna get his recipe and make it up. We need Kingston cookies. I said raspberries, man. What size is that? Um, um, 
Milk Bells makes diabetes cookies. There's this oh, one guy. Oh, sugar free? <laughs> no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I said no. You. These, <laughs> these cookies will give you diabetes. Um, That's why I got them diabetes cookies. Um, is turmeric grow in the ground? What's the other thing I need? Mean? I can't remember what then I need. Then there are peanut butter rolls. She makes peanut butter rolls and uh, I forgot what the other lady like said. I don't know what that cookie that she made me. So what was that one cookie you gave me that had so much sugar? Literally fucking... <coughs> Oh, the, uh, cookies that are like, yeah. I'll take your life and your loot. I'm exceptionally good at both. This belt will fucking kill you on cookies. <laughs> I can make a fucking uh, peanut butter around cookie that makes your teeth bugs come and Yeah. That can help me. This might be a good place to land. Okay. Enough lambing around. We drop it. Don't want to touch. Don't touch him. <laughs> Madness something good this way. Who you slaying now in fucking Apex? It's all loot. Are right, you stop playing? Yeah, I only played. I only pick up the sticks when he uh, is in danger, get killed because of inactivity. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a vegetarian. No, Kingslayer's cat. <laughs> That didn't probably need to scope up. In fact, I don't know why you got the scope on the handgun. You used to put the scope on the you what's know, in there. And just go off the hip with the handgun. It's a handgun. Mm -hmm. Or you need life though. Healing. Watch my back. Give my shield a recharge. There you go. What up, Luna? The battle belongs to only us now. I can't wait for a second chance to pull up. I got some good news for second chance. New chef. <laughs> How's Speaking of like second chance. Yo, what up, everybody? What up, chef? Yo, I gotta tell you, I watched that AEW fucking shit earlier, and watching 3 and 4 from the Dark Order ruin fucking being the elite made me so fucking depressed. Like, I, every time they showed up, they sucked all the positive energy out of you. Who was 3 and 4? You mean, the uh, Dark Order Reynolds the and, uh... <laughs> you hate them? <laughs> Yeah, like, I was to the point where I had to start fast forwarding every time they were on screen, and I'm like, this is too much work, I shouldn't have to fucking do this. But the thing that, the camera that broke the straw's back was, all those fucking segments I saw leading up to it, was the Dark Order doing silly fucking shit. I'm like, okay, everyone's doing silly shit. Then I see the best friend with Orange Cassidy trying to trip, I forget who the fuck it was, I think it was Brandon Cutler with a rope. So that way they could stab him. I'm like, this makes no fucking sense. Even if Orange Cassidy fucks up on purpose, why is the Dark Order doing all this funny shit? Yet the best friends want to stab someone and kill them. I'm, I'm like, are we on opposite land here? The one's supposed to be a face, one's supposed to be a heel, but on the listen, fucking internet, they're opposites. Uh, you, you've been watching it backwards, so there's a big part of this that you're watching it backwards. So technically, you don't know why Coke Cabana's running around looking like a mummy yet. So. 
I'm not going to say anything to spoil anything, even though technically you're going to see the spoiler before you see the bit. But you still ain't even Honestly, got to that point know. yet. I don't know if I'm going to go back to watching Being the Elite. Like I said, uh, three and four. Uh, and like, I love Brody Lee in it. I love Brody Lee's part in it. Fucking viciously, viciously yelling at everyone. I like Stu Bennett, and I like Player Uno. But as soon as 3 and 4 comes onto it, to me, they suck all the fucking energy out of the room because they think they're funny, and it just it, it makes me want to turn it off. That's fair, man. I'm just I, surprised nothing, I'm like, glad you checked it out. Yeah, like, I tried to watch it, try to... Listen to the advice. I heard that being the elite was going to be good with the Dark Order, and it's like the worst fucking possible thing. It made me hate the Dark Order. I'm not going to boo them or cheer them. Like, as long as three and four is fucking part of it, I want nothing to do with them. I don't give shit what the fuck going to be our day. Hurt up, man. Nothing like cold steel on a hot like, day. I'm to the point where if Eddie Kingston turned his own group and joined the Dark Order, I still wouldn't give a shit. After three and fours are out. This is yeah. I get what you're saying. So three and four is keeping you from taking the group really seriously. Yeah, yeah. I, I, t I, I take nothing hey, they do serious the now. Master. Not a Ready fucking up. second of it. They are not a heel group. They are, they they are gotcha comedy and they are bits. <laughs> and <laughs> it's <laughs> just Brody Lee trying to act like Mr. Man. I'm sorry, but three and yeah, four. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> three and four fucking ruined it, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me to like it now. Let's land here. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. When you hosted me, it was like literally ten minutes before I fucking broke. I'm like, I can't. Let's land here. <coughs> oh man. <coughs> what are you guys up to? It's time to drop shot and rock. I'm not doing a damn thing. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I'm bored as fuck. Trying to you call play something then, two belts? First blood. I don't know, what you all want to play? I'm not playing anything, I'm streaming Apex. Checking out clips. Did you Sasha Banks is in The Mandalorian too? Yeah, I read yeah, that shit. The episode ain't out yet though. Yeah, but I saw the trailer, Sasha the actual Banks season episode. 2 trailer she's in it. Of The Mandalorian. Yep. yep. I didn't catch the first season, no, no, now I'm definitely not going to watch the second. <laughs> That's That's cool, I when I told Sasha Banks, when I told Lizard that Sasha Banks was in the, the season 2 Mandalorian, he almost threw the fuck up. Oh, Lizard's a whole hater. You I mean, you're a little no, bit of a hater, but Lizard's a whole hater. A whole hater. I was about to say, well, baby, you yeah, going to fall. Said that was Mandy Rose, alright, or Billy Kay. All right, all right, or 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 Peyton Royce. All right, all right, that'd be okay. Or in this case, Becky Lynch. Oh, or, or Becky Lynch. Yeah, yeah. In this house, in this house, we hate Sasha Banks. I don't know you guys are, 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 are hating for no reason. I think it's because she's the best seller in the women's division. Perhaps in the WWE. She's the best new niece that she can be. <laughs> I don't see yeah. how that's relevant. I don't, I, I don't really ever see her do anything successful. And when I see yep. her matches, I see her fuck up more than anyone else. I don't see how her wrestling is relevant. So, Snoop Dogg's niece, I agree with that. Um, that's fair that you guys can say that. I personally think that she is a more valuable talent to the roster than anyone not named Bailey in the WWE. Uh, you know what? That's true. And as long as Sasha Banks stays in WWE, she can't go anywhere else. And nor should she. Oh, perfect. I agree with that. She should not go anywhere else. I agree. I just don't like Sasha Banks because she's not very fan active. She's most when she does these autograph signings, she's always on the fucking phone and shit. I think she don't understand. Like Sasha Banks. Yeah. The Mandalorian. So. Oh. Anyone who don't respect your fans is not one of my number one fucking. I'm gonna get by. Anyway. 
Russia, 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 Russia thinks fucking fans is a piece of shit in my book too. Without us buying their shit, they're nothing. Listen, I'm not beat for none of that. Five o'clock in the morning, walking through an airport. Let me see you guys start uh, engaging with a bunch of strangers at five o'clock in the morning in a fucking airport after getting off of an airplane and shit. Oh, no, I don't agree with that, but Two Belt just said while she's doing signing, she's sitting there on her fucking phone. People paid and waited to be there. I don't know. I, airport. Two Bells got to tell me which signing he went to because she won't at StarCast. I know. I checked. When she was up here for the fucking goddamn pay-per-view in Chicago. Uh, it was a WWE pay-per-view, Two Bells. What did you expect? <laughs> After the way the, after the way the WWE fans have been sexually harassing Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch and photographs and photo ops and shit. What do you expect from Sasha Banks? And 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 furthermore, two belts. Are you saying that Sasha Banks did any more than what you saw Tennille Dashwood do at Starcast? Because I'm pretty sure that Tennille Dashwood did the same motherfucking thing. Yeah. She a fucking pickpocket, so I don't expect much from her. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Taco Bell ain't even 100% beef. We're exposing everything tonight. <laughs> but fucking uh, Tamatanga, he fucking said hello to my ass. Because I was asking him, hey, I got meet and greet with you. Later hey, on, hey, hey, Tamatanga too sweet of me. I'm going to keep it. You want to talk about some real motherfuckers, man? I didn't have to pay for these two sweets. Know what I'm talking about these is real nigga too sweet. I walked past the nigga. I threw up the too sweet. He too sweet in me I got one from Chase. I got one from Tama. I got one from Fale. I got one from Tongaloa All right, god damn it. And if I can remember what happened the rest of that day, I probably got more though Yeah, but them some real motherfuckers. All right now now by a stark contrast my experience meeting the meeting the Elite, the the elite. A little bit different. Yeah. Yo, yeah, they barely wanted to even fucking wave hello to us. Tomataka had conversations with me. I like still man. Twizen, did he just call him Tomatanka? Like the Tomataka. Tomataka. <laughs> Probably. Why do you think you guys are going to be competing in the misspelling bee? <laughs> mis mis mispronouncing bee, I believe, Kingslayer said. I don't care what Kingslayer said. I'm the one who's selling this shit, so I'm, we're calling it a misspelling bee. That's the best <laughs> name for it. Now, what actually happens there will probably be a, a mix of a mispronunciation bee and a misspelling bee, alright? Well, anyway, the motherfucker was, was super cool, mix. man. And the miss. I told him I told him I was gonna get a sandwich if he did a promo for me. Motherfucker, him and his brother and his dad did a promo for me, so that's some badass shit. <laughs> they wanted that sandwich. Them motherfuckers was hungry. You know what time it was. I got pictures Yep. And took pictures with me and with me, me and his belt, and I only paid for me. Yep. So Miss Bell, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Who were you happiest that you met at StarCast, the first Hold StarCast? On. Hold on, let me give it to her and she'll tell you. Here, they want to ask you something. Yeah? Miss Bell, when, when we went to the first StarCast, who who you think you were the, the top three people you was happiest to have met? Well, let me see. I met Joey Ryan in the lobby. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was trying to hide some people in the lobby. And I got, uh, a DDP came through there. That was pretty cool. He was sitting over there where I was at. Um, but I think most, pap the person I was most excited about meeting was Tom and Tonga because he was nice. Oh, wow. And, yeah, because he was super nice and well. It don't help nothing that he good looking too. <laughs> Uh -oh. it don't hurt, that don't hurt nothing one bit either. And also because I'd done my research and he was former military. Uh, let me yeah, see. Um, I was hoping that Ric Flair was going to be there, but he wasn't. Nah, but I know you was hyped when you met some of them horsemen. I know Arn. 
That was awesome while I met Arn Anderson. I was looking super forward to that one. I was so happy that Arn Anderson was there because he was always one of my favorite. And let me see. I, I wasn't too happy that I ran into fucking Cheeseburger because I thought he was stupid. I thought Punishment oh. Martinez was Roman Reigns. <laughs> I, heard, I heard you got super excited to meet Jerry Lynn. That was awesome. I didn't know he was going to be there. That was awesome. He, he was just as sweet as he could be. He's so little and adorable. He is, he's super little. I'm about to say, didn't you want to get an autograph from Jerry Lynn and shit and everything? No, no. I, did, I didn't know Jerry Lynn was going to be there. But and rather at first because he looked so much like him, I thought he was fucking uh the one with the guitar that hits people with guitars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jeff Jarrett. Jeff I thought Jarrett. he was Jeff Jarrett. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett company one putting that together. Well, I thought that Jerry Lynn was Jeff Jarrett there for a minute when I saw him but I realized Jeff Jarrett was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Jerry Lynn had the haircut. Yeah, Jerry Lynn looks like him too. He probably, uh, Jeff Jarrett probably get mad over that, but yeah. <coughs> it was, it was oh, awesome to meet Brutus Beefcake too. Syringe, yeah, I got all, yeah, ended up on the elevator with him and uh, the one skinny guy that was wearing the suit. I forgot his name. The bald guy, the old announcer guy, the bald guy. The skinny black guy that's about oh, oh Teddy Long, Teddy Long, yeah, Teddy Long, Brutus Beefcake pushing Lex Luger in a wheelchair, and uh, DDP, and somebody else on the elevator uh, going downstairs. I met them. I, I was kind of worried about if I was gonna fucking fit, cause Brutus Beefcake big. Mm -hmm. It was <laughs> awesome to meet Sergeant Slaughter too. Yeah, that's facts. I got multiple pictures of me with Sergeant Slaughter. That was awesome. Cause when I was growing up, we had a song about him. When I was growing up. He did spit his game. He wasn't two belts. Don't be trying to put that on me. Leave my cat alone, Will. Two belts over here talking about something. I even got you in the game. Two seven guys was like, that's really cool, man. Cause I'm not even in 2K18. Two of us was like, I got your car. I made him. I'm like. Wait, what? <laughs> and Bells was happy to meet uh, that one guy he got a promo from with the fur coat. Yeah, with the, with the neck Gertner. race. Yep. Big Joe. He was all happy over that because he kept saying that was it, uh, that he was the dirtiest announcer ever. He was. I was shocked to see that one bitch putting fucking, um, Pit, whatever his name was, the Mountie guy used to be a Mountie or something. Oh, he, yeah. was, he put uh, oh, he electrical was wilding, cables man. on his nipples. And hey, he was the only one that gave himself. us a show, though. So, you know, I still fuck with him to this day. Like, he gave us that a show awesome. for free. Everybody there. Like, we showed up to StarCast and we saw PTO Zach. Yeah, he put, uh, like, like jumper cables on his nipples and what did you do, Oh! <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, Mrs. Two Belts, on 2K19, you, you seem to love Jerry Lynn. I was wondering, did you want him? Because I've had him for a while, and he's been pretty successful in my universe. For, yeah, for sure. Alright, then you got him. I got it. I got a uh, ECW handbill. I bought it off of him, and it's he made a mistake on it. He double autographed it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I thought you got an autograph on it. Yeah, that, that's the ECW handbill, and uh, his, it was autographed by Sandman. It was the only one they had left that was autographed by Sandman. Nice. And I got Francine to sign it at the second star cast. Nice. I need to get RVD to sign it before he dies of uh, something. And uh, uh, I need to get Blue Meaning to die before he dies of cheeseburger information. Oh, yeah, Blue Media is the best. And, uh, Mom, I need to get McMichaels to sign it, too. He's a former Chicago Bear, so that costs us fucking money. It will never get signed if I have to pay him fucking $200 to sign it. <coughs> Look, man, we could just... I, we could get Mongo to sign this, man. 
course, I'm gonna be standing there holding my Chicago Bears teddy bear saying, Sign this! <laughs> Where's the fridge? I want him to sign it too. You know, but a lot of the people listed on that handbill are dead. Is Tommy Dreamer on that handbill, Will? I don't know if he is or not, but if he is, I want him to sign it too. Rick Rook's dead, Will. I can't get him to sign that. Looks like we're the too. When I took that and got Francine to sign it, um, the guy that was with her wanted pictures of it. Because he didn't know what to think about that. He said it was cool. Fucking Jerry Lynn had a ton of them selling them. That's crazy. That's because Jerry but Lynn's the fucking man. Mr. That's JL true. Himself. He had a ton of them selling them at the last StarCast, but they sold out. You need to get that picture in there signed of the young buck you know, that we got. Oh. Oh. Fuck. I'm not sure if you realize, but in that Discord message you sent me last night, my address was already sent to you, but three messages up. Really? Yeah. Right. Hold on. Recharging my shield. I, I just forgot to give you my, yeah. my full name. That's the only part why I forgot. Right. I don't even know. Hey, you want to move the pill from Oh, more? damn. Yes, yeah, way further up. Alright, word. But it's what we're paying here for, uh, for apartment, two bedroom apartment right now. I'm not gonna tell her that. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell her that. There you go. Guess my name on the address. No, I ain't gonna tell that either. Oh, I'm gonna tell you that. We need to move the pill, sir. Oh, and I just got my free 30 day shipment of CBD oil sent to me for free. The one I told you about. Nice. Apparently, it costs $70 regularly. Yeah, Bluetooth is good to you. <laughs> That's all the fuck you heard at fucking Star Castle. Bluetooth, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. I'm right back. I'm gonna go make a phone call. We'll be back in like 10 minutes. Alright, hold it down. CBD oil don't work, does it, Club? I don't know. Um, I got, uh... In my experience, when I ordered some CBD oil about a week ago, and I got it randomly for free, because I did it, I was actually able to sleep on my shoulder for the first time in fucking years without feeling pain. Oh, damn. That's big, I don't know, like, three days right there. I bought, I buy belts weed. I need shields. Uh, well, I don't recommend smoking CBDs at all. No, 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 you don't smoke CBD. CBD is only for medication, not for high. No, I buy him the, uh, like, pins from the medical marijuana dispensary over here because he has, uh, he has kind of bit that and, uh, he hurts all the time in his back and shit. I'm going to DDP, y'all. Hey, what are you doing with my cat? Why'd you wake him up? What are you doing with my cat? Why'd you wake him up? Fucking quit fucking with him. You're supposed to be allergic to him, but you stick your fucking face to his face. Bitch. What's a bitch? God damn, that's hard for a studio apartment. It's expensive to rent in Chicago, but you can go up and move in Gary in a three bedroom house for $800 a month. Beginning ring countdown. Over there. Uh, see, you disturbed his beauty sleep, Will. He was sleeping good. <laughs> Are you okay, Archie? No good, brother. I've been down. Target spotted. Leave him alone.
you all don't know the name of the person who reported Chef? Yeah, well, we know. Champions. Chef right here right now. We can find out well, in 10 minutes. We can find out. Yeah. I'm going to be a bigger troll than Kingslayer. Yeah, that's if we can find the account. Because that was bullcrap. He didn't even... No, you don't report people. You fucking narc. Facts. I ain't never heard stitches. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> yep. Do you want it to be like 6'9"? Some people do want to be like 6'9", man. Some people do. Oh, that fat bitch with the face tattoos? <laughs> he got more face tattoos than Mike Tyson. That's facts. At least Mike Tyson ain't a fucking rat. That's big facts. Mike Tyson did time for a crime he didn't even commit. So he will, he won't grab nobody out. That's you crazy. know. Yeah, that shit still uploading these shits, man. It's something real intricate about these joints, man. I'm about to try to do it again, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, right? Alright. Oh, they had a COVID-19 incident at my school today. That's crazy. Yeah, but I ain't had to go up there since, I ain't been up there since March, when they called the shelter in place here. And lo and behold, they had the, uh, somebody up there today, they opened stuff back up, and now they have it. They had an issue with fucking, uh, somebody in all different parts of the university for, um, Corona. I wasn't planning on it. Let me go see what uh, Mama Club wanted to do. Sometimes I wish I was a midget. I don't. I could get some of those little ride-on toy cars and ride around in them. You wouldn't be able it's to get on most of the rides at the at the amusement park. I don't ride around to the amusement park anyway, but if I was a midget, I could get some of those little toy cars and drive them around. I wouldn't have to have a vehicle. <laughs> I wouldn't have to ride the bus. <laughs> I think these are the five joints right here. Could be this one. Shop wheel. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it was that one. I can see it going through now. By the time you get to come back up here, I'll probably have my driver's license. Choices, you live, you learn. Life goes on. Nothing like cold steel and Get my driver's day. license in a damn car so we don't have to take the bus all the time. Yeah, this is for red. For 775, Will. Move it or die. Matter of fact, y'all ain't gotta hold on. Let me move it or die. Club, is that dude up there in Gurney still upset because you didn't come up there and get him? Nope. I don't think he was upset even then. Hold on. Or, or he was afraid. Is that the one? That's the one that was afraid we were going to kill him or some shit, right? Heard that. Somebody trying to give away a Bible for free on the uh, Facebook. You won't pervert.
Double time in it. And where's Chef at? <laughs> I need to, I need to holler at Chef minute. about these cow zones. I think it's a cow zone. What is it? You got the menu yet? That shit got pictures. You got make cow zones? Hell no, I'm trying to buy cow zones. So now Belf, is, Belf has got me wanting to make my uh, peanut butter roll candy, but he won't eat none of it. He says it's enough to kill you. One sec, healing up. Healing. Watch my back. Enemy spotted. I'm trying to get a little something that's a little bit enough to kill me. Hey, another squad coming in. Not really enough, though. My dad taught me how to make peanut butter roll candy, and my mom taught me how to make peanut butter candy just regular peanut butter candy and Will says that it's enough to kill anybody because when you eat the peanut butter roll candy it makes your teeth buzz from so much sugar oh hell no no see I just got these teeth so I'm not trying to fuck them up turn <laughs> up and they mine cause I bought them I still remember when we was little my dad would put the candy up so we couldn't get at it and then we'd catch him not looking at me and my cousin went and ate a whole plate full of that candy. We paid for it. So, no, you need to come up here and visit us again. We live next door to a hooker and there's drug dealers upstairs. <laughs> That's no reason for me to come. That's no reason for me to come. <laughs> And there's a drug dealer's upstairs. Throwing our star. Oh man. But we live in the good bedrooms and I was just well, I found the most specialist building. No bamboozle. Oh fuck it, I'm only building around here for rent and this is a neighborhood we don't have to worry about getting shot in. So one of the few neighborhoods in Chicago that we, we didn't hit we didn't have no issue when they was burning stuff up here recently or nothing like that. No fucking body comes down here. It's like living in Kentucky but in Chicago at the same time. <laughs> I kinda know what you mean, bro. I kinda know what you mean. Oh, painless knocking at the door. It's one of those streets that's so secl secluded in the city that nobody thinks about it unless they live there. But the bus is, bus is only three and a half blocks away. Like six blocks from here, and there's a car rental place right on the corner. There's a Hertz car rental place right on the corner. Here, package incoming. Y'all earned this. Just watch your backs. No. Let's go this way. If I if I have a car here and stuff, I won't make you rent a vehicle. That'd be me, man. Hey, hey, I know good recipe for cheesecake. Go to the store, buy a box. <laughs> cheesecake mix. <laughs> they got me. I'm done. All right, so they got the, the calzone. It's got ham and pepperoni and shit. And right here, they only got one kind. Calzone. <laughs> Go find another one. Let's grab her. Sometimes. She said, "Oh, but that's because I wasn't saying this spot right here. If I say this spot right here, she's probably gonna start getting excited." Yeah. Just trying to order calzones off the internet. <laughs> he said it like, like Amazon making them shit. <laughs> she said he's trying to order calzones off the internet. <laughs> oh God. Amazon will probably, they'll probably drop shit me some calzones. They'll take anybody's money. I don't give a fuck. Oh man. Hey, I just ordered fucking ice care. cream and shit from Amazon. You're doing it right. No, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not ordering this calzone online. I'm just trying to find a menu online so I can see what a calzone I found the menu, but it only got one calzone. It's called calzone. Got like I'm five making dope. Everything else, but... 
I want to get a get a non pork, non beef, but meat. No. You want a chicken calzone? I don't really want a chicken. I want a ground turkey calzone. They ain't got that. I take a turkey sausage calzone. They ain't got that neither. I need shields. I'm on belts to take me over I back to rest, shit, uh, Calio over Restaurante, over buddy. Won't. Not sure. I think someone's targeting me. In the cow zone. Oh. My cow zone dreams. And Stromboli wishes. Oh, man. Stromboli, you can buy them in the store by screaming Sicilian. I don't even know what, um... Which, what's the difference in what they look like right now? It's been about two weeks I've been thinking about, about this. One of them I think I really like, the other one I think I'm kind of like, but hold on. I will, the Alderman's riding bicycles up and down 47. So him and his uh, boyfriend and uh, his uh, other friend are three Mexican guys riding bicycles in a gang neighborhood. <laughs> if you hear that Alderman Lopez got shot, this is because that somebody thought he was a gangbanger. Yeah, they're over near the uh, checkers on uh, 47th and uh, Diamond over there by uh, fucking uh, Food for Less. That's how you get shot. I like checkers. Yeah, well, that checkers in a bad neighborhood and they're riding bicycles around there. The alderman and his two friends are uh, over there, and they're all Mexican, and that's a gang infested neighborhood. That's a smart alderman. He's gonna be in the Senate one day. Well, he his name's Raymond Lopez. Uh, uh, he's real well known around here. He's a little dude too. I'm I'm talking. He is. Yeah, we got a guy like that in Jersey. Um, the hood and shit. Why is speaking uh my boy wound up working for one of his campaigns and shit. And he wound up speaking at my boy's funeral. And um, that, that dude, that was holding the guy I was talking about, wound up, um, wound up becoming a senator. His name's Cory Booker. He's gonna be president one day, I promise you. I promise you. I wouldn't be surprised if all the mopeds don't. He's, he's about my age. He's, he's a little bit younger than me. I think he's 35. And, uh, he um, he went out to see the seniors and everything today, and uh, was seeing what needed to be done up there and stuff. But that is, that's a bad neighborhood, and when you out on bicycles, it makes you look like a gangbanger until well, you realize he dressed in a blue t-shirt and a pair of plaid shorts. Nobody thought that was a gangbanger. Yep. But yep. he he lived, he told the mayor, "Fuck you." That's <laughs> what he told her mayor. <laughs> they had him on recording telling their new mayor, "Fuck you." <laughs> Gangster. Oh, he didn't. He people was laughing about it. He's um, and they couldn't really say nothing about it because he's uh, he's Latino and our mayor's black. And he told her he said, "Fuck you too, then." <laughs> I feel sorry for Alderman Lopez sometimes because he's he is an alderman for this area and Ingle uh. Inglewood and all different areas and stuff. Damn. And he, all his uh, constituents are made up of black and Hispanic people. And he said that our mayor don't care. That all she's worried about is the rich people on the north side where she lives. Heard that. Um, per, is it the people where Warrior Wrestling at? Because it's definitely rich people over that side Look, of town. No, that's not in Chicago. That's Arkansas City. Okay. But, Hold on. Uh, that that's it. Not in Chicago. That's in the suburbs. That's in Chicago Ridge, and that is Marion Catholic High School. Um, the north side where she lives at is Logan Square. She lives near CM Punk. Well, I hope she runs into Mr. Brooks every once in a while. I don't know if she does or not because if she did, her and CM Punk will probably have words. Yeah, I know his name's Phil Brooks, but she don't live near where he does, right up there. 
Hey, we are going to Another one who doesn't show any appreciation towards his own fucking fans. Yeah, and he overcharges for an autograph. CM Punk is a fucking complete like, piece of shit. I used to be a fan of his for years, until his true colors started to show in how he really treated his fans after he left wrestling. He didn't give a fuck about us, so we're not gonna give a fuck about him. I don't really pay him no attention. I seen him at a comic book store up here one day. Hey, miss that fucking retarded Pepsi tattoo. <laughs> that was like me getting coke tattooed across my forehead because I drink it. No, you keep eating chocolate, I'm not gonna bake you no cookies. You don't bring teeth. No, stop. Archer's resting up so he can be a pure asshole tonight. It's cause I won't let him be a veg vegan like King Slayer's kitty. Where's King Slayer's kitty? King Slayer's caddy said it was a vegetarian. Oh yeah, I heard about this. Wait, what you want from me? Wait, he turned his cat vegetarian? No, the cat oh, he says his cat won't eat meat. He <laughs> called says the cat was born vegetarian. No! <laughs> yes, chef. Yes. No, not him. I just got fucking <laughs> past the basketball while I was underneath the hoop, and I accidentally hit the pass button, and it passed it so much further away. <laughs> This is, this is very, very well timed. <laughs> very well timed. No! The cat's a vegetarian! <laughs> He's rolling in them. My cat. Oh, man. Mrs. Uh, Will insisted on the fact back. that my muscle. cat had. What'd you say, Archer has to eat wilderness? He, he went and bought him the wilderness food. He, he's a he's a high end kid. He's high pollutant. Hasa so Diddy. I can't believe that shit is up in this damn top already. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, now that Archer got on the uh, wilderness dry food, he won't eat nothing else. But he'll eat the lickables, like you get the, it's like gravy in a pack and you feed it to him. But you gotta hold him like a baby. No, that ain't right. You have to hold your fucking cat like a baby to feed him? His, these packs that you open up and they got gravy that squirts out of them. I kind of believe that. He likes to be held like, it's almost like you're giving him a bottle, club. No, Mexico is the best. I've seen, I've seen uh, that, that before. I've seen strangers too. So I ain't even No, he, he's, he's a grande you going for the meal or the zeros? If he keeps eating the way he does, he's going to be El Grande, El Grande Gato. He's got better sauce. Fuck you, Will. You're not gonna give my cat the violin string. Sauce is everything, man. It's the foundation of any of the Italian restaurants. You gotta put wax. They only gonna use one sauce throughout the whole everything. Man. You might get a different marinara, but all the sauce that's tomato sauce is gonna be the same tomato sauce as in everything. All the marinara, the that's the marinara, it's gonna be the same marinara that's in everything. And all the motherfucking mm. vodka sauce is gonna be the same vodka sauce that's in everything. That's vodka. Yo, that needs that sauce. Let me try, let me tell you, trying to eat with lizards in most places is a nightmare because they hate sauce. Oh, damn, I'm a sauce of hog. Hey, I you hate dropping. my pizza like, place this week. He hates both sauces. Like, you, you very rarely, like, any, like, like, vodka sauce is one of the very, very rare sauces he likes. Ew, sweet baby Period. Ray's is gross. You are wild. Oh, I, I have sweet baby Ray's right here. On my desk. Gross. Why is it gross? Too sweet? I don't like it. Yeah, it why? just 
I make my own barbecue sauce before oh, I, I eat that. On that. Now, if we comparing our own to something else, then my own is better than everything. I'm pretty sure everybody here could say that. But if we talking about store brands, I'm talking Sweet Baby Ray over everything else that you could buy in the store. Casey Masterpiece Kentucky Bourbon. Nah, that shit is so like. It's so loose and thin. It's not big enough. <laughs> um, you know, before I was on Sweet Baby Ray's, Casey Masterpiece was like mandatory. So, so. Oh, I don't know anyone who ever used Casey Masterpiece in my life. Like, I'm not, I'm not even playing on that one. Damn, I was I like, I was like specifically Casey Masterpiece for a while and before I discovered I use, Sweet Baby Ray was my uncle. And Sweet Baby Ray's is made and sold here in Chicago, but I use uh, Casey Masterpiece, either Hickory Brown Sugar or Casey Masterpiece Kentucky Bourbon. Those are the two. I will and, admit, Hickory yeah, Brown use. Sugar is one of my favorite flavors of barbecue sauces. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep. Like, whatever brand you're going yep. for, that's one of the first flavors yep. I go for if I'm trying a new brand. Hold on, Luke, man. We up in here talking about right, barbecue sauce them. and we arguing between Casey Masterpiece, Hickory Barbecue, and Honey that? Bourbon versus the motherfucking Sweet Baby Ray. So it's like it's got me all in my feelings. But hold on, y'all. Um, the think best about to get a calzone. The ever had with Jack Daniels. Hold on, though. That's what they got. Yeah, they do. They do. It's just got pork on it. So I'm going to have to get it without pork. If they sell it at uh, they sell it at uh, the Jack Daniels yeah, one. They sell it at Menards. Two dollars cheaper or some shit like that. But the uh, KC masterpiece is Kentucky Bourbon, not Honey Bourbon. It's Kentucky know, Bourbon. Right. Tell them to put some extra cheese in there. I don't want no meat. Extra cheese. Okay, so this is the part where some people might call me sacrilegious. I'm but lying. when it comes to like barbecue and stuff, most tomatoes. of the time, except for ribs, except for ribs, I like to, I don't like to smother things in sauce. Um, I, I, I'm, I like, I'm, I'm a dipper. It, for me, it depends. I can eat chicken in a multitude of ways. I'm talking about grilled chicken. Grilled chicken to me means 18 different things. Or barbecue chicken okay. means 18 different things. I can eat that slathered in, in barbecue sauce all the way through, like it's swimming in that shit, like it's pulled chicken. Um, you know, like pulled pork. I can eat it like it's like that. Um, I can eat that shit where it's just like, you brush some barbecue sauce on it and grill it, and it's got a nice finish to it, and uh, you know, it doesn't have a sticky, I mean, it has a nice, dry, sticky texture or whatever, it's not wet or anything like that, I can eat that, fuck those up all day. I can eat grilled chicken with no sauce whatsoever. Like, you just seasoned it up and grilled that meat. I eat that all day, dog. So, like, I can eat grilled chicken in a whole lot of ways. I mean, you know, barbecue chicken, whatever. Because, you know, barbecue chicken means something different in a lot of different places. Cherish Guerra, barbecue chicken is just, they grilled the whole motherfucking chicken on an open ass grill and shit. And that's barbecue chicken. They ain't got no sauce, no nothing. That shit good as a bitch. <laughs> you get the whole chicken. Fucking better rice and a better fries, five dollars. You cannot get a better meal than that. Are you talking about like the Spanish, right? The Spanish Hell chicken yeah, where the they Spanish do the whole thing. Yeah, they do the you whole. You can buy bitch. that up here. Yeah, but, but you wanna know what I wanna buy? You know the thing. So you seen the thing that they cook that motherfucker on? And they look like got like yeah. six eight of them bitches. They rotate that shit all day or whatever. I wanna buy one of those. <laughs> Word up. You want? You wanna buy a chicken, a commercial chicken roaster? Hell yeah, one of them big ass ones, because the one, the spot that I know, they do that shit, it's like, basically, if you go there and sit at the counter, you can sit there and watch them do that shit all day, while you eating, while you waiting, while you drinking, just watch them do that shit all day. Over here by Archer, you can stand outside and watch them, because they do it in the window. Yeah, see, I'm with that too. I like spots like that. Spots like that, I'm going to go eat at often. Cause uh, I'll be standing one. outside the bitch eating that shit, watching the dude cooking and shit. It's so creepy as hell. <laughs> There's one over here called um, Polo Express. Mhm. Mm and it's good if you if you go in there of the morning when they first get it in there at 11 o'clock. It's awesome. And then you can watch them roast good. it. Don't nothing smell better than me, you know, outside of women. 
Nothing smells better than me than some motherfucking meat on the grill. I really don't care what meat it is, but you know what I mean. If I'm about to eat it, it's about to be chicken. Uncle Remus is burnt down up here. Did you hear about that? No. It's, one, it's supposed to be one of the best uh, rib spots in the city, and it burned down. Wow. Yo, yo Dan, Dan Hawson, the, the wrestler, has no. some of the best shirts, and, and, and like, he, he has some great fucking wrestling shirts, but he has a Batman who laughs, but, like, it's his face paint underneath the mask. I was looking through it because, like, I came. Honestly, I've come across Dan Haas in the last year or so, and I still have a lot to learn. Same. I can't find much on him. Small. I thought it was 775. Um, with spinach and tomatoes, no meat. That's not a calzone. Shit, they ain't got but chicken or some shit like that. I don't even really want chicken on that shit. Hell yeah, I want ricotta. Tell them I want some extra ricotta for nine dollars. <laughs> should say seven seventy five on the paper. Okay, Archer, that's all of the treats you fat hunt. Inside the next room. Oh, oh, Dan Hawson just wet. recently got engaged. Well, congratulations, Dan Hawson. Van Helsing? No, not Van Helsing. No, Dan Hawson. Uh, Dan Hawson. <laughs> yeah, it's Dan Hawson. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to say his name correctly, but I think it's close as I've, I've gotten. Okay, Lord Ash. That's all of it, Archer. Um, other than what you got on your chest, you pig of a cat. <laughs> I think this is some sniper and shoddy shit right here that I was saying in two levels. And I'm pretty sure I started off with this sniper rifle. Come on in. Old pain is waiting. <laughs> now when he garbs you and licks you through the fat of the mouth, it's your fault. And just know he licks his own asshole. And who doesn't? And why would Calzone with yeah. cheese and tomatoes in it. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Tomatoes? Mm. Oh, look here, you fat ass monster. What's your snack? Attention. You know what I've never heard of before, Club, and I'm kind of thinking about it right now? When's the last time you heard of someone stuffing a tomato with chicken and mozzarella? Yeah, man, I was thinking about doing that the other day, man. Uh, I didn't have no peppers, but then we got I some peppers. But, uh, nah, stuffing a tomato. This is the same game? Nah, this is some, this is some snipers and shooters shit. I ain't do it yet, though, chef. So you know what it is, what time it is, man. It's a race to the finish, man. I think the only thing is that the tomato wouldn't be able to hold its structure very well. So you might just put it into aluminum foil or something. Yeah, but you know, I really do. I think I was going to just straight bake a tomato too at a certain point and shit. Because, you know, they got like just stewed tomatoes out of the bitch. So, like, you know, that shit good yeah. by itself. So, uh, um, yeah. I don't think my goal was more so to get, get, You could do all of that with it, Chef. You could do... I'm just trying to think what I was really aiming for. Oh, I, I was just talking about putting cooked chicken already. It's mozzarella and just cooking it for like... A, like I don't know, 
10, 15 minutes to let everything like come together. So that way you have a portable chicken parm with no burn. <clears throat> One of my favorite dishes I ever made is, um, what, what was it? Sun dried tomato sauce that I made homemade. Uh, I put it on top of manicotti, and the, and the ricotta that filled it was a combination of collard greens. Um, this for me, it was like a couple pieces of pork and ricotta all fucking blended Damn. together in the machine for a while. Until it just came together, and then I stuffed the manicotti, put the sun-dried tomato sauce on top. This sounds like something I want. They're giving out more curry money for But yeah, money. collard green, like, uh, ricotta, if you yeah, can ever get your money, hands money. on that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's part of the reason why I got money, the spinach then. in there. I figured the tomatoes would complement the sauce enough. And I got the spinach oh, in there, because I know spinach go with ricotta. And I didn't really want chicken in there, because for me... One minute. Um... I kind of learned that chicken is not really a viable substitute for pizza toppings. Yeah. So since what's in there since is pizza eat... toppings, I don't want chicken. What, not a far ring. What do you like as pizza toppings since you don't eat um, a lot of? You know, keep it a buck with you. I've had a lot of things over the years and a lot of time to do this. Um, I'll take a pepper and onion one. That's a pretty good one. Um, and okay. if I got peppers and onions, I'll take chicken. To go. But as far as would right. I get just chicken on pizza? Like, nah, I, I've done that a lot. No, like, I ain't doing that. No, anymore. even I won't do that. Um, no, I, I would get like a fucking barbecue pizza. As far as that deep pizza. dish I got in Chicago, I shouldn't have got chicken if I was gonna get as much cheese. But if I was gonna get a different type of cheese, because I think we got the whole thing white. If I remember right, we got like the least yeah, amount of sauce that's as possible. What, but that's right? the kind Two of levels. sort of cheese you wanted, dude. Yeah, yeah, and I figured if I do that again, I would have to split those ideas. I'd either have to go all white with no meat and just get more cheeses, or go get the chicken with like peppers and onions and some other shit that go with red sauce and shit. If I'm gonna do all of that, I would go chicken, spinach, yeah, and if you're adventurous, mushroom, and then you fucking put on the white sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nothing will truly overpower the the white in that one. Yeah, and with the white oh, sauce, spinach is always good with some white white cheeses and all that shit, man. Spinach is always good with cheeses and shit. People, people don't understand ricotta on pizza. Yeah, even even in New good. York style, it's fantastic. Like, yeah, you see, that's what I really want. He talking about uh, we about to get something from the spot and whatever. So I'm. So when I was coming down the stairs, I told Mom Dukes, I was like, I think I just want ricotta cheese. So I was like, I just want it on a slice of pizza. She was like, yeah. oh, she was like, that's not all you want? I was like, yeah, but they ain't about to make all of that. In that case, just get into a white pizza with uh, tomato sauce on the side. Well, actually, in that case, get some fucking calzone. You would actually save yourself so much money. Damn, he fucking murdered me. I don't think my shit about to drop on there. Oh, yeah, it is. Fuck that. Oh, Let me I just see watched this. your stream. Yep. Yep. Damn. I should have threw that first. <laughs> and then tried my shit. I did have a team. That's crazy. But, uh, we caught. Yeah. Come yeah, man, you should have team. Did your team let you know what team belt was? Hell no, they was not playing. They wasn't playing team. We need two belts. Well, if he loves ricotta cheese so much, shouldn't he get more into calzones? Yeah, because the calzones are a little bit more filling because they put more Man, in Man, for the price, listen, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Um, On the app, that shit said that that calzone was 7-something. The, the stromboli was 11. The lasagna was what? 11. All right? What? And, they you. and well, then lasagna, when he got on, on the phone, when he got on the phone, he's telling me the calzone is about ten dollars so so no, now I gotta, I gotta make a quicker decision and if if I'd have went into it thinking that this calzone was gonna be ten dollars I'd have just got the stromboli mind you off the top of my head off the top of my head I know strombolis and calzones I remember that I like both of them but I cannot picture neither one of them in my head but I know I like both of them Calzone is just a circular 
uh, fucking pie, you fill in one side, and then you take mm -hmm. the other empty side, you flip it over, and you have a half fucking moon. Or a half crescent, whatever. Yeah, but that's like and a pizza one that's rolled bully. up, though, right? The stromboli is the rolled up one. Okay, okay, that's the one I kind of like. But it's, like, dry on the inside, though. Unless, like, yeah, that's cheese. the stromboli. Fucking, okay. uh, a calzone that's, is nothing but yeah, wet because of how much I like the ca I think I've made, I've made a calzone before. Yeah. Yep. Yo, do me a favor. Can you send me that pizzeria's phone number? Because I want to fucking question them <laughs> for them having it. Yo, no, I'm serious. I'm about to fucking call them. Hey, listen, I don't know if this is DoorDash. It's got an extra $2 on it because it's DoorDash. Oh, yeah, it is. No, oh, no, okay. I, 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 so for Lizard's birthday, I was going to get a carrot cake from a bakery, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking that day, damn, I feel lazy. I don't want to get up. I, I don't want to do this. I look on Grubhub, food, whatever, costs almost $20 for that fucking cake. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll go walk. If it's that much, I'd rather go take care of it. I get there, the cake only costs $11. And like that twenty dollars was before delivery fees and charges and, and everything else. Damn. So yeah, those motherfuckers mark everything up super hard. Yeah. If all that I go to the store, dog. Oh, let me yeah, tell the homie, man. Yeah, talking about club. That's why you should call them. Like, for Hold them on. to tell you it's ten, while the thing tells you seven, that's that's first of all, that's so I much false advertisement. Oh, let me talk about the finesse. Now wait a minute, Lou. We didn't expose the finesse out here. No cluster fox uh, trots in my area. Let's run this. I'll <laughs> never be. They ripping club off. Club don't even know he's getting ripped off. <laughs> this is your champion. You're like that's some highway murder. They don't even charge that shit up here. Yeah, no, no, not even, not, the only way you get charged like a $10 calzone over here is that if it's stuffed with things. That's like, you know what I mean, like, like you have like olive, peppers, fucking chicken, you have the whole thing stuffed with things. Fuck yeah, fuck them hardcore. <laughs> Cause we, we fucking poor. <laughs> Shit, tell him you were fucking poor. We live in a fucking badass area. You're taking, <laughs> you're taking care of a, a cripple fucking Puerto Rican. They'll Fuck love you, you, dude. They'll give you that thousand dollars without even trying. Fuck you. It's not that. That's bad. true. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm telling Ms. Belt to fuck these people over because they fucked her over. I agree with that. Great, already inside the ring. Someone's gonna open the blinds. First blood. No shit. It's not us. Wonderful. I just totally fucking forgot my train of thought here, Chef. I forgot what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> oh, Calzone, Strombolis, and the restaurant that's ripping off clubs. <laughs> I was about to say, when even when club here, we were in some hole in the wall joint and it wasn't that much. Yeah, let, me, let me tell you some shit, man. These motherfuckers. These mm -hmm. motherfuckers. Thinking they can rip people off. Yeah. <laughs> Attention. Eh, eh. New kill leader. Uh, I mean, I could kind of see that if we took them to like one of the name brand fucking pizzeria restaurants here, like Gortillo's or fucking Gino East and shit. How much was it again, Chef? Enemy over there. Ten dollars. I'm down. Making contact with enemy. And you see how small Cazone is. Fuck that shit. Reloading. That was outrageous what they were charging him for fucking lasagna. But goddamn. <laughs> Reloading. 
I left a literally fucking, you know, hand making that shit from scratch, and I can. No, I still can't see it. Recharging shields. Here I go. Contact. I am down. Okay, well, let me know when everybody gets back. <laughs> I'm gonna be here twitting, <laughs> twiddling over here. Confirm it's not DoorDash. <laughs> I'm also confirming I'm probably going to the store to investigate further. That's smart, dude. Yep, I think court's going to be delayed tonight. Yeah, I know. Well, we're going to do this. This five minute trip about to wind up taking an hour and a half because I'm about because. Bro, and you care. Good. Inside this next ring. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm in the ring. Where the fuck is my team at? Alright, wait a minute. Chances are they're dead. There you go. Fuck them good. I told you. No, I what it is. It's just. They kept all that money hoarded up and they was really supposed to get the two thousand dollars piece. But they held off. Oh. Yeah, I believe that, man. Everybody got paid off from COVID nineteen. I just found out what Sasha Banks is gonna be playing on that fucking Star Wars goddamn show. I know she's gonna be playing she's a gonna Sith. Be a Jedi. No, she's gonna be a Sith. I'm with that. I don't care what she playing. I'm watching it regardless, cause that's my show. Pearl, you actually believe that she can be? <laughs> what universe are you fucking living in? What universe are you living in? Have you watched Star Wars? Billy D. Williams yeah. is like one of the most pivotal <laughs> characters in the universe. But, but that, he wasn't a guy. That, but he it, wasn't a goddamn Sith. <laughs> So what? He's still more important than three quarters of the Sith Lords that have ever existed. Is he not? I mean, he helped Darth Vader capture, uh, what's the name? Got, uh, Princess Leia, I'm pretty sure, sold him to slavery and all that shit. These are important events in the Star Wars mythos. And, again, this is Billy D. Williams. The only other place he's important in is Colt 45 commercials. Yo! <laughs> And he is a pillar in the African American community. I say all of this with the utmost respect. But all this being said, you're asking me about a universe that only has three black people in it. How I feel about Sasha Banks joining the universe. I think it's what's best for business. It's the same thing and the same reason it is for the WWE. Now that she's in the Star Wars universe, she is the most talented superstar in the Lucasfilm history. Alright? Alright? Is there any closer on this sandbox I need to stand on? Sasha Banks it was best for business. in boss time. I should get it on my license plates. Alright? The girl is money. She knows it. Snoop knows it. I know it. You know it. Which one? Wait, did you say you canceled your door, your door down for real? Kitchen. That's well, I said I'm going out there myself to do a, 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 a on scene well, you want to go investigation. Nikki, baby? Oh yeah, you should. And make sure you grab their fucking menu and everything. So that way they can't say like, well, we up to here. Like, nope, that's in the delivery app. So you're telling me if I use the delivery app and then with the delivery fees and everything, I'm getting charged the same amount? Why even do that? It wasn't even a delivery app. I think either I got an old menu offline I, I, I'm also not going to stunt. Technically, what I saw online said 775. The dude said it was 8. I got the deets. The dude said it was 8. I'm being told it's okay. 10 because of tax. So. What? Yeah, it shouldn't be that much. Unless you got tax laws that are fucking. I'm kind of rounding up a little bit here. I think all of this is being rounded up here for the sake of a takeout. 
but at the end of the day, uh, uh, this is seeming legit. I'm going. There's only two percent tax in North Carolina on food. Well, I'm going. Uh, I'm going for the investigation on general principles. Eight sixteen. Yeah, that would just sixteen cents that they fucking add to your shit. That should be eight sixteen. I don't have a car, so I, I, I'm usually a victim of like, some people's bullshit, but I can argue pretty well. But if I had a car, I would go to fucking places most of the time, but like, no, 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 this is wrong. I don't have a car and I go to places and go, no, 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 I take the bus <laughs> and a train. <laughs> I'm not doing that for during coronavirus. I, that's the only way I can travel. Me what? That's why I say what? What? I saw that. I saw you Kinda got one phantom shot. This bitch got the magic bullet. Sniper. Rob, you wow. Win. I only took 14 out of her. Yep. I think it's time to play some basketball. Check the comments. Alright. Second chance. Second chance you up in here? Earth to club. My birthday's in three days. Nice. Club is a v v vaginatarian. Oh, wow. Second chance just changed the wrestling world. Second chance you just became eligible for uh, the G1. Nibbles. Second, can you hear us right now? Happy birthday, second. Can you hear us now? Yeah, because it's saying both microphone and gameplay being broadcast now. Second chance, finally check the comments. Luna, check the comments. Welcome home. Uh, second chance, shout out to you for super kicking the sub. You just became eligible for the F4 and the, uh, the G1 or the G4. I'm not sure how we're doing this shit. I think we're going to put 16. I think at the present moment, you second chance just made 14 yeah. subs. 13 subs. You hear Kravigo <laughs> stick an F in that G spot. That that's what I heard. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A F. Yep. An F. A big F. A B F F. Wait, I'm totally playing hoops. Alright, let me go on basketball right quick. So we can pick up some wins. Well, you should have fucking passed to me. I still ain't seen Coach all day. 